everybody and welcome to another Sandcraft Motorsports DIY. Today we're going to be installing a driveline carrier bearing combination in this 2020 XP Pro. We're going to start off by loosening the four bolt straps on the rear yoke here. And to hold that in place I like to reach up and put the transmission into park. We're going to move up the drive line a little bit and remove our two safety hoop bolts. Moving forward still yet, we're gonna stop here at the carrier bearing and remove the two mounting bolts. Now that the carrier bolts have been removed, at least broken free, we're going to remove the four mounting bolts for the cross member, but it is going to remain trapped from the body bolt coming in from the top. Now that all the mounting bolts are out of the cross member, we're still trapped by this body bolt coming in from upstairs. So what we're gonna do is just gently roll her to the back side. That's gonna give us plenty of working space. Moving all the way up to the front of the vehicle, we're now going to remove the rolled pin that holds the front half drive line to the front differential using a pin punch and lots of little taps, not big taps. Now starting to remove the drive line from the vehicle, back here at the rear again, we're going to disengage the four bolt strap yoke. Slide the shaft out to the side and come to the rear of the vehicle. Now we're going to slide the rear half off towards the rear of the vehicle, which gives us room enough get our front half down. Now the rear half. Now we're going to remove the large nut holding the yoke to the transmission output shaft. will slip right off. So this is your new XP Pro driveline unboxed from Sandcraft. There is some disassembly required before we do the install, which is removing the rear yoke from the back half. To begin the install, we're going to put the Sandcraft yoke on the transmission using the Nordlock washers and factory net. The XP Pro driveline comes with a new transmission saddle yoke because we utilize a much larger U-joint. First step to installing the driveline is with the rear half going up through the middle of the vehicle. Then it will be followed by the front half. Up here at the front differential, we're going to engage the front yoke, lining up our retainer bolt holes. Install the provided hardware. And we'll tighten it until it just bottoms out. We'll roll it over to expose our pinch bolts and we're going to apply some blue thread locker and tighten them both down. Now we're going to engage the back half of the drive line to the front, aligning the grease zerk with the master spline of the front half. And engage it as far forward as it will go. 
Now back at the rear, we're going to engage the U-joint to the saddles of the strap yoke. And install our straps. And now we're gonna tighten them down in a uniform back and forth to put equal torque. Now we're going to completely reinstall our cross member. So now we're going to install our new design base plate that will be clearly marked top and bottom. They are also self-aligning. And we will be putting blue thread locker on these mounting bolts as well. Now, if you would like to reinstall the factory safety hoop, you'll have to modify its shape a little bit to work around the corrected driveline angle. All right, just before putting the vehicle back on the ground, you wanna rotate the driveline a few times to make sure that you're clear of any auxiliary wire harnesses or not touching any bent or damaged floating cross members. Once that's clear and everything looks good, you can lower the vehicle back down, reinstall your skid plates, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching everybody. Like always, enjoy the ride.